Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R720 XD server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on network cards. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R720 XD server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, we're going to hop into this. Uh, so this is going to be specifically focused on uh, network cards, also known as NIC. Uh, for the uh, the network cards, uh, we're going to cover the uh, different types of options. Uh, at the very end, we'll put up a list of uh, a bunch of different compatible types. I'm sure it's not a, an all-encompassing list because there's so many types you can use, but uh, it'll be a, uh, a list that we can provide for you. Uh, we're also going to install the two different types, and uh, that'll be uh, kind of the heart of the video. So let's just get rolling. So the uh, the different types that you'll notice are uh, there are a uh, PCIe version uh, that you can install on your PCIe slot, or there is a daughter card. Uh, the daughter card is my personal favorite uh, because the daughter card has a carved out section in the board uh, to install it so you don't have to waste one of your PCIe slots. Uh, and I get the uh, R720XD does have uh, six PCIe slots, so there's a decent amount of them, uh, but that is important for some of the one use servers in this uh, generation. Uh, so that is uh, something I personally like is the daughter card as a whole. All right, so I wanted to get a little uh, close up to show you a better view. So these are the uh, daughter cards I'm talking about up here that have their own carved out section, and these will be your PCIe versions. Um, I personally, like I said, I prefer the daughter cards. The daughter cards have, uh, if you notice, four ports, uh, and these are gonna have two ports. Now, there are some high profile ones that have four, but generally speaking, you're getting only dual ports with PCIe, and you're getting four ports uh, with your daughter card, which is one advantage. And again, you have a carved out section, so uh, that's the other advantage. You're not using a PCIe slot, and you can use that for something different, okay? So, the other thing I wanna point out is uh, the two main um, connections that people are using are gonna be RJ45 and SFP+. Uh, that's pretty much the, uh, the heart of what a lot of people are using. Uh, so, what we have here for the three mini monos, this is gonna be a four port RJ45, uh, one gigabit uh, per second. Uh, this right here is gonna be uh, two by one gigabit RJ45 plus two by 10 gigabit RJ45, a uh, very popular card for us. Uh, this is gonna be two by one gigabit RJ45 plus two by 10 gigabit SFP Plus, also a very popular card for us. Um, and then you're gonna have your PCIe version. Both these are dual port 10 gigabit, this one being SFP Plus and this one being RJ45. Uh, so these are kind of the heart of the uh, the choices. So when you go into to build a server on our site, for instance, uh, these will be the choices that you will get. And all of them are excellent choices um, and we'll have all of them available if you need them. So all right, now let's uh, go ahead and install the, the daughter card and the PCIe. All right, so we're going to go ahead and install uh, the daughter card and the PCIe. So uh, all you're really going to need for this is a screwdriver, and it's pretty simple overall. So we're going to go ahead and pop the latch, lift the top off, pretty much like any chassis we've been in before. Uh, so you will notice that there is a section carved out here in the back specifically for your daughter card. So uh, this is honestly a pretty easy install overall. Uh, you'll notice there's these uh, two screws that I'm gonna keep them up like this. Um, and then there's this section over here for the connector right here. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take your ports, you want it facing this direction, and you're gonna wanna push this into the hole. It'll kind of come back out or wanna come out, back out. So you're gonna need to just make sure you kind of push it in hard enough. You gotta be gentle because this is a, you're literally touching the PCB directly. So you need to be gentle. You're gonna wanna line this up so that the connection comes down and the screws go into the screw holes. Okay, and then once you have that lined up, um, I like to get the screws connected first. Personally, or just get them started. And then I go ahead and I push the two blues down and you'll feel it click into place. And then now we can screw this and tighten this down all the way and you'll feel it fastening to the board as you're going. And then it'll get tight and you just need to stop so you don't strip the screws. So we'll go ahead and get this tightened down. And really it is a, a very uh, easy installation overall. Uh, the one trick I'll say that I've noticed from doing this over the years is just to make sure 
you push this in all the way because otherwise when you come down it's just off just a little bit so you just have to make sure it's all the way in there so all right so now let's go ahead and we'll do the PCIe version so uh, since this one is low profile we're gonna need to come to riser one so we're gonna remove riser one and with riser one you're gonna notice there are two blue tabs okay so this blue tab right here is going to open so that you have enough space for the end of the card when we install it and this blue tab and you need to be careful when you're doing this one because it's going to release the current brackets that are in there so when it opens up it just is a hinge now we can remove this tab right here and we're going to go ahead and install this right in the middle and so one of the things I'll say is uh, you just need to make sure you line everything up properly and it'll slide right into place. You'll feel it click in as you do it. And then you're going to want to close this to lock this back into place and then close this to lock it in. And then it's just as simple as installing riser one again, which just slides straight down. make sure you get it all the way in it's nice and flush and now we've installed both the PCIe and the mini mono so I appreciate you stopping by if you made it this far hey click that like smash that subscribe and if you're looking for a uh, custom built server uh, we build uh, Dell HP super micro uh, Cisco we do uh, custom builds on Gigabyte and Azrock and Tyann and Azus, and we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center's business. Please message us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. And thanks again for stopping by, guys. Take care.